what is going on, people. I am here for another review. And if you could read by the title, the movie I'm reviewing is called The Harrowing. This movie, we got sent over a screener. We got to watch it a little early. The movie, it comes out on VOD. I, I believe it's up for pre-order now. Uh, but the movie actually comes out on Christmas on VOD. And then I believe it gets a... Uh, physical release sometime earlier next year. We had a few people on from the movie on the Dorkening, which I'll get to after the review. Uh, but before I get into it, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you enjoy the review and hit that bell button so you know when I upload more reviews or updates or anything like that. Anyway, The Harrowing, it was written and directed by John Keyes. It stars Matthew Tompkins, Arnold Voslo, Michael Ironside, and... Ariane Martin, uh, among many others. So pretty much what this movie is, it had a, uh, especially towards the middle of the movie, it had a Jacob's Ladder kind of kind of feel to it. Um, pretty much it revolves around a a detective who, in the beginning, right in the beginning of the movie, this movie has like a, uh, I guess you want to call it dual genres. In the beginning, it seems like a cop type movie like an action type movie and then as the story progresses it turns into more horror and then it turns into like a uh mind thriller with like demons and stuff like that anyway right in the beginning you get uh the story revolves around a de detective whose uh partner gets murdered and he has visions of his partner kind of turning into uh some kind of demon-like creature at one point he sees his partner like eating uh this villain or the the person that they pursued and he ends up getting killed so throughout the movie he ends up going undercover into this like mental asylum i guess you want to call it to kind of figure out what's going on and 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 try to find out what happened to his partner and he's trying to figure out um, the steps, not steps, but um, what progressed into the the situation that happened. And as he goes and as he gets deeper into the story and finding out and stuff, his life kind of takes a turn for the worst, I guess you want to call it. He starts having these premonitions, he starts having these dreams, and he starts kind of going insane, kind of. Um, and throughout the movie, it's him kind of going down... Uh, this downward spiral like i said it kind of has this jacob's ladder kind of feel to it and then by the end it kind of takes you on this like this twist that i didn't see coming you know when when i watch my movies i don't know if it's just me i'm maybe other people do as well i've seen so many movies that in the middle of it i kind of try to figure out the end this one i had inklings but it didn't kind of it didn't go exactly how i thought but it had a nice twist ending to it, and it just got better and better and darker and darker and creepier and creepier as the movie went. I don't want to give way too much away, but like I said, by the end of it, it turns from this, like, right in the beginning, it looks like an action-type cop film to a horror movie where you get these crazy visions and stuff into another, another level. Like I said, it kind of brings it to like this mind bending type movie like what's reality and what isn't it's a very cool movie uh like i said we had a few people from the movie uh the director uh one of the actors and one of the actresses on uh they talked about the movie and what was the hardest to um tape and, and whatever and you find i found out that you know the craziest scenes they kind of taped in the beginning so maybe it's a i don't want to say that's giving anything away but it, you know it's the secrets i guess behind the whole thing so you should go check out that interview uh with the dorkening uh it's on youtube right now also if you're into audio podcasts we take the audio from the show and then we post it where most podcasts are streamed i guess you want to call it that'll be up next tuesday so if you're interested in you know hearing the behind the scenes kind of stuff and how long the movie took to tape and do you know this not secrets but you know certain behind the scenes things listen to the dorkening uh but like i said it is a fun entertaining like thrill ride of a movie it is one that i didn't see coming um you know, it, it was one where um, 
just the dream sequences caught me. There was a few that I was just like, this reminds me of so many different things, and it's bringing me back to certain movies I watched. You get a lot of, not a lot, a lot, but there is gore in this one. You get, uh, again, more like like flickerings of these like demonic presence and stuff so that was pretty cool like i said and just overall it, it the, the mesh of i've always said i enjoy horror comedies and stuff and i enjoy uh the taking of two separate genres and kind of you know met uh putting them together because at that point in time the movie doesn't get stale sometimes if you have you know a certain comedy it kind of gets old or if it's an action movie it kind of gets you know old and boring gunfights and this and that so kind of just gets old when you can combine a few different genres together you know as if if one starts getting a little bit um you know too repetitive or whatever in comes the horror and then in comes demons and and mind thrillers and is this reality is this true is this actually happening kind of deal so just meshing everything together brings the best out of uh these these multi genre i guess you want to call it uh movies so definitely uh i will like i always do leave the link to where you can watch the trailer for the movie as well as i'll look for the link to purchase the movie again it comes out december 25th on vod it's up for pre-order i believe they said it was on amazon it's up uh, not amazon on itunes it's up for uh pre-order um well, I mean, I guess if it's on uh, iTunes for pre-order, I'm sure it's up for pre-order on some uh, some other platform. So, again, I'll try to find the link for that. It is only on VOD right now. It comes out Christmas next Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this review. Definitely check out the trailer, like I said, to do it more justice. And uh, check out the movie as well as the dorkening. Again, you can watch the video of the whole thing on YouTube or Facebook, The Dorkening, or you can wait for the audio podcast, audio part of it that will come out next Tuesday. So two ways of viewing it or listening to it. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend this movie. And I guess until next time, I'll see you guys.